If you are at the bleeding edge of classic gaming, then you've heard of Mister, the open source FPGA based emulation platform based on the fundamental goal of hardware accuracy. Mister already has tons of cores spanning 8 to 32 bit consoles, home computers, arcade games, and more. In this series, I'll feature one FPGA core every day for the next 21 days to ring in the new year. And today's featured core is the Nintendo NES Core, which was originally the FPGA NES by Ludwig Strigaeus, which was designed for the Nexus 4 FPGA dev board. It was ported to Mr. by Sorgelig and is under heavy development by Sorgelig, Grey Rogue, Risha, and some others. With a constant stream of updates and improvements, it's become extremely tight and accurate in terms of audio, graphics, and gameplay. Most people consider it now to be the ultimate FPGA NES. It supports all system types, PAL, NTSC, and Dendi, has Zapper support, Power Pad, Microphone, and Miracle Piano, Save support, and it supports all popular mappers and a majority of the obscure mappers. And it has a host of other features that I'll show off one by one. Light Gun support is here for games like Duck Hunt, using the real light gun zapper, although you'll need a low latency input device of some kind, like the Snack. It's much easier to just use a USB mouse or the analog joystick on your controller. If you choose to do it this way, you'll just enable it in the menu and you'll get a new feature that the NES never had, crosshair support. It works great for Duck Hunt, and you can even use it for Konami laser scope games like Laser Invasion, a really cool and challenging helicopter shooting game that also supports the zapper. Famicom Disk System support is here for games like Aliens, and in order to use FDS you'll need to set up your BIOS as outlined in the Mr. FAQ. There was even a Famicom Disk System version of Dig Dug, an excellent port on the NES. The core already supports all expansion audio mappers and is extremely accurate. It does the VRC 6 and 7, MMC 5, Namco 163, and Sunsoft 5B. Gimmick sounds great. And so does Lagrange Point. And one really nice feature of the core is its palette selection which you can get to in the menu by going to Palette. I have mine set to PVM, because it matches my PVM pretty much exactly. But you can flip through these and find the one that reminds you the most of the way you remember the NES. There's really big debate on the color of the sky among people online, whether it was blue or purplish. Uh, for me, I don't really have any recollection of those years, especially not the color of the blue sky. But I really do like this PVM palette for myself. Lots of people like Wave Beam and Smooth and uh, some of the other ones. These are all pulled in automatically through the updater too, which is really nice. So once you run the update script, you'll have all of these palettes in there. I also highly recommend setting your filter too. And I like Interpolation Sharp. I also like Gaussian and Sharp Nearest Neighbor 7. But Interpolation Sharp is my go-to. And another nice thing that the updater does is to automatically pull in all of the cheats from the cheats database. So if you've ran the update script, all you need to do is load up your menu, go down to cheats, select the cheat you want, 
and then go back into your game. And as you can see, I gave uh, myself firepower at all times. I don't know why you would want this, but if you do, it's here. Even when you don't have the flower. So yeah. So every game is going to have a huge list of cheats, and um, you just select them, and they're applied just like a Game Genie code. Four-player multi-taps work for games like Micromages, or you can just plug in four USB controllers. The core even supports features that you have to pay big money for to get in a flash cart, like large ROM support loading for games like the Rockman Minus Infinity hack. and other large ROM games that require custom cartridges, like Legend of Link, an impressive new Zelda game by Infidelity. You can even load NSF music files and play them with a built-in player, which is essentially a real hardware chiptune player, much superior than playing them back on your computer. And another really nice feature is the extra sprite support. The NES was limited to eight sprites on screen, which led to flickering, famous in games like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, where when too many enemies appear on screen, everything starts to flicker. And I generally just leave extra sprites enabled permanently. It's also great for games like Rygar that suffer from a lot of flickering. And if you're playing on an HDMI TV, there are tons of scan light options. And for me, it's a must for a game like Tetris, the most beautiful looking game ever created. And the core sound is approved by all of the NES audio aficionados out there. My favorite chiptune artist, Tim Fallon, has never sounded better. So there's a quick look at the gigantic and feature-rich NES core. If you have a mister, then you have the most powerful FPGA NES ever built. A core created with the goal of one-to-one -one accuracy, but which also has a huge suite of extra hardware-based features that no one ever dreamed of on the NES, and that you'd pay big money to have. Like the built-in RGB HDMI video scaler, which you would need an HDMI modded NES or an OSSC to do on real hardware. Or analog RGB video output, which requires extensive modifications to a real NES. Just for the NES core alone, Mr. is worth the price of entry and you still have all of the other incredible cores as a bonus. It's easy to see why anyone who's a huge fan of the NES is getting big into Mr. lately. It's a new NES console for the modern age that travels well and hooks up to any displays, from older CRTs to modern HDMI, and it does it with ease and style. So what core will be next in my New Year's countdown? Find out tomorrow in my next video.
This video represents a snapshot of the core as it exists today, but by the time you're watching this in the future, it may have been improved or expanded with new features. Hit the subscribe button to be kept up to date with all the latest Mr. Happenings, and ring the bell to be notified when I go live for a stream. If you like the channel, consider supporting it. Patreon support at any level gets you an instant invite to the Smoke Monster Elite Discord and early access to my videos. Thank you so much for your support, I really appreciate it.